Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to share this cute project with you. These are little leather baby shoes. I have just released um, a free pattern to make these leather baby shoes. You can find the link in the description. So these kind of orangish ones, these are real leather. If you can see the suede inside. So this project works really well with leather that is thin enough to sew with your sewing machine. I've designed it so um, you never sew more than three layers of leather at once. So it makes it great for um, beginner sewing machines. This one, these silver ones, this is with a faux leather. So you can see the inside is kind of the backing of that faux leather, but it looks like leather on the outside. It's a really fun, shiny um, silver color. I have essentially been making leather baby shoes for eight years for all of my kids. I have gone through lots of different designs and styles. I mean, I've just, I've gone through everything to find something that works. I've given tons and tons away as baby shower gifts. And I have finally, um, found the pattern that I think works the best. I think it's the best for beginners. Um, and I think it looks really good and it's easy to sew. There is only one tricky seam that you just have to move slow and um, like just keep lifting your sewing machine foot and adjusting the leather as you go. But I do think be beginners can sew this. I love leather babe shoes for my kids because um, it, they were soft and comfortable for my kids, but it would protect their feet, especially when they're newly walking and they're always kind of stubbing their toes. Um, I have kept some of my kids' leather baby shoes where they have walked like holes into the shoes, like where their toes are. And I love to have those as like little memories of their tiny little baby feet. This pattern comes in sizes newborn, three months and six months. Um, my kids had really tiny feet, so they were the six month size until they were probably 15 months old. But um, if your child has bigger feet, then it might only work when they're crawling and stuff. But I am so excited to teach you how to make these baby leather shoes. Um, it's been a long time coming, so let's get started. For this project, you're going to need the pattern, which you can find, um, the link in, is in the description. You're going to need some leather. I like to just use up scraps. You probably need maybe close to a fat quarter, maybe a fat eighth. Then you'll need some quarter inch elastic and something to draw on the back of the leather, like a pencil or a pen. I prefer to use um, real leather. I get it from like purses or jackets at the thrift store. Um, my sister-in-law gave me a like a hide one time and I'm still using it like 10 years later. So um, I just find leather in cheap places and then you only need a little bit for the shoe, but you can also use faux leather or like pleather, um, things like that that you will find at craft stores. Just make sure that it is you know, has a little bit of give and movement so it's comfortable for the baby's foot and that it's not too thick. Um, when it's really thick, it makes it a little bit harder to sew. So on the back of the leather, we are going to take our pieces and trace um, all of the pieces that you need. All of them need two, but you have to make sure when you do the bottom part of the shoe that you do trace one this way and then you trace one this way so that you can get both sides of the shoe. I'm going to take some scissors and cut these out. You want to make sure that you use some nice sharp scissors. You don't want to use like paper scissors or something and um, just go through and cut out all the pieces. Now 
Now you're going to take these top pieces and you can see this is the mark on the inside. You're going to take this little casing piece and match up this mark with this mark. Um, but both right sides are facing up and you're going to clip this in place. You can't use pins when you are doing leather because it will poke holes into your leather that can't um, be undone. Now we are going to sew along each side of this rectangle one eighth inch from the edge and you're going to backstitch when you start and when you stop. Um, use a matching color and use either a thicker needle or um, a leather needle. I am putting in a universal needle that's a size 100 slash 16. Um, I don't usually use a leather needle just because I have found with shoes. I just like um, to use a universal, but you can definitely use a leather if you want. I've also lengthened my stitch length to uh, three because I find it works a little bit be better with the leather since it's not like so tight. I find that I don't have a problem with the leather sticking. I do with faux leather, but I don't have a problem with real leather. If you're having a problem with your leather sticking and it's not moving through the machine, you can put pieces of scotch tape sticking up to the bottom of the um, foot with like a hole in the middle and that will help it move slow, smoothly when you're sewing. So you're going to take the back pieces and the mark is on the bottom of the piece. So take the long edge of the top long edge and fold it over half an inch. And we're going to clip that in place. Now you're going to sew um, this fold in place one eighth inch from this edge and you're going to back stitch when you start and when you stop. So do the same to both pieces. Now we are going to start constructing the shoe. So place your two, the bottom parts of the shoe, and we're going to place them with the right side up. And we're going to start with just the back. And I would say this is the trickiest step of the shoes. So you're going to match up this back line and this line on your back piece and clip this and then you're going to swing this piece around to fit the shape of that curve on both sides. So what makes this tricky is when you are sewing, you kind of have to move this like top edge out of the way. So you'll be sewing along here and then you come to this and you kind of, you get there and then you kind of move it around and um, I'll show you as I'm sewing that you have to um, keep like lifting, leave your needle in, lifting your foot and kind of adjusting the fabric to swing around that curve. So let's pin the other one. So now you're going to sew around this curve. You're going to backstitch when you start and when you stop, and you're going to sew at a 1 8 inch seam allowance. And then you have to, you know, move this fabric as you sew.
Now take your top pieces and we are going to match them up and put them on top. So um, find that front point for both pieces and clip that. Then you're going to swing this piece around, clip it in place on both sides. So now you are going to sew around this front piece with a 1 8 inch seam allowance and you're going to um, back stitch when you start and when you stop. So now you are going to cut some elastic. I like to cut my elastic five inches long, so you'll need two pieces. So before we put in the elastic, we are going to turn the shoe right side out. Poke out all those curves with your fingers. Then take some elastic Put a safety pin actually on both sides. I like to put one on the other end so it doesn't get pulled inside since we're using such a tiny piece of elastic. It just helps it kind of stay. Um, and then we're going to pull the elastic inside. I start on the back and then they come around across the front casing. Take your two ends and overlap them by half an inch and then I pin it in place so it doesn't get pulled inside and you're going to have to pull pretty good to get it out enough to put it in your sewing machine. You just have this little space and then do the same to the other one. Once you have the elastic sewn, you can take out that pin. And then I actually like to pull the leather around the back so I can get this piece, like the overlap, I want it to slide into the back casing instead of the front casing. So I just kind of pull this around like this until it's safely tucked inside. Now, one last thing that I do once I have it all smoothed out how I want it. Um, the elastic is really tight across the back because I found that's a really good way to help a shoe stay on a baby's foot. But what I like to do is I place it so you can tell which is the right and which is the left. And I take a fabric marker. This is really just to help you put the shoe on. And then I mark an R for the right foot and I do it along the back so that it, it's less likely to get worn off by the foot. You know, if you put it down just flat right here, um, it's really likely that it will get rubbed off. So I just mark in the back and the leather baby shoes are finished. And that's how you make leather baby shoes with a free sewing pattern. Please check out this playlist of free sewing patterns and baby sewing projects. I can't wait to see all of the great leather baby shoes that you make. Please share them with me on social media and I hope you have a wonderful day.